Okay, this is a good pair. Let's try to keep this pair rolling. Shadow Step Amalgam. Sure, it's a good pirate hand. This could be a hook tusk game. We <laughs> just killed and plays Marvel Snap on Heart during Hearthstone stream. Hearthstone's so boring. Uh, yeah, there you go. I like it. Time to start beefing with people. Well, there used to be beefs. Yeah, the Toast and Crip had a big beef one time. I don't remember what it was about. That's the kind of stuff I miss is like harmless chaos. I don't know if the swordfish is particularly likely to hit a pirate here. We just don't have a lot, you know. I think we had like 12 out of 40 or something. So not impossible, but not not super likely. No pirates. Noel should be pretty cheap. I don't have any uh, dredge, so Phelan's not as interesting. Stash also probably not as interesting yet. Let's wait to kill this. I don't feel I don't feel a lot of urgency yet. Oh, sudden urgency achieved. <laughs> okay, well, take that back. Urgency unlocked. There's that dredge card I wanted too. Man, man. Uh, let's go Amalgam for now, just to make sure we're utilizing these cards that are going to burn. Smite is a great finisher for sure, which we're going to want, I think. This hand is definitely a little more face-oriented, but I still might like Edwin better just as a reload. I, I don't know that we're going to get in a Smite range anytime soon, right? I, I think I'd take the Edwin, actually. Do I save the Shadow Step for Edwin, or do I Shadow Step the Amalgam now? Uh, I think we're okay. Let's hold tight for a second. Let's just hold tight. <laughs> Reed just doesn't like Crip because he's vegan. I almost said no, that's not why. <laughs> no, I like Crip. I like Crip just fine. All right, Crip, uh, at first I was a little... Uh, I don't know. I did, uh, Crip didn't seem like he liked me very much at first. Which kind of was like, oh man. But uh, we got along fine later. Okay, well, that's not very good, but let's let's shadow step our boy here. Cold, sharp steel. Do we take five in this matchup or not? I mean, I don't really want to. We do have a potential Reno still. We haven't uh, overwritten our Reno with Serathine like we did in previous iterations here, so it's not crazy. Ruined Mithril Rod. That's kind of cool for the Vanessa almost, right? Let's extract some value, man. I don't know. I don't know how long this game is going. I might really be jinxing myself here, but I kind of dig it, man. I don't know. I'm going to be drawing a bunch of cards off Edwin potentially, right? Like it would be really actually quite sick to like line up um, an Edwin discount, like, you know, discount that one extra discount on the same turn that it, it's only one. So I don't know if it's worth much, but okay Cold, sharp steel. oh i like metamorphosis a lot i don't think i like whirlpool quite as much but still kind of fun can we go scab so we can make this edwin turn even crazier mythical rods five mana now it Indeed it is, yeah. It's it's uh it's pretty crazy, isn't it? Dude, immolate, I hate you. I'm trying to be greedy. Why must you make me suffer, immolate? So I'll probably go scabs here to get our hero power rolling. I mean I do lose access to the weapon. But it's okay. Not a lot of, like, weapon-activating cards anyway, right? Stash with Metamorphosis is pretty sweet. I don't guess I'll need the Rune Mithril Rod again. So, next turn would be the turn I go for Edwin, right? Because I think... Am I losing these next turn? I can't ever keep track of this, man. Is last turn my last turn with these, or do I get one more? 
I, I actually don't have any guys. What do I have one more turn with this? I need, I, I know this fire is great. It's a really cool looking effect. I need a little number in the fire. <laughs> I need, I need a little countdown. I needed to say, I need, I need a little text that says you have one turn left. It's gonna get. I just need to memorize the visual, perhaps. Yeah, it's gonna get more blackened. Okay. This is the second turn I've had to play with burned cards upcoming. Right, so I'll have one more. All right, I trust you guys. Don't screw me here, because basically I want to, I want to get the metamorphosis in and the. Um, well, I'm not going to have the mana for an Ashara, probably, am I? I need a cheap spell to get the Ashara if I want. Or I need to draw three cards. What, what, what is this happening right now? I dang near have the Whirlpool. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? So you guys think I have one more turn after this? <laughs> Just to clarify it. Okay, all right. I'm gonna whirlpool then, I guess, because we're kind of dying if I don't. The problem is there's nothing to do with the whirlpool. I have three mana to spare. It's just a really unfortunate. <sighs> whirlpool also though, puts that in my test, so I never build a board if I go for whirlpool, right? Staff just stash just has like mithril rods and garbage right now. I mean, I, I, I really hate that I have to Whirlpool, but I think it's right. Okay. Okay, you guys were right. You're right. They're like crazy, crazy burned up right now. Okay. They're very blackened. Yeah. It's like how my wife gets her steak way too well done. Okay. I've never had that many fell rifts hit me all at once. That was crazy fell rift turn last turn. And they already got another one too. All right, so I, I think this turn we go for the Edwin. I, I I might try to squeeze these in as well, but whoa, Gigafin tempo, I love it. Yeah, I, I'm a medium rare man myself as well. So the wife sickened me. Well, that's sure not my favorite. I think Edwin just doesn't get buffed here. I guess I go for a Colossal. Tidestone's pretty good, though, because my hand is pretty small. And it's good on the rod, too. Yeah, I like this better. I, always, I take Tidestone a lot more than most people, I feel like. I don't know if that's... Just because I like random cards or what, but I... Oh, hello. I do find myself taking Tidestone a lot, I feel like. More than I see other people take. All right, so we only lost one card to emulate. That's really not too bad. I also look sick right now. I'm a Demon Hunter Scabs. Uh, yeah, yeah. Tess and Stash are both good with Tidestone. Exactly. What more random burgly. Anybody? Does anyone like zebra cakes? Uh, if you mean like the little Debbie zebra cake, uh, <laughs> like garbage snacks, yes, <laughs> absolutely. I haven't had one in years, but yes. But my favorite is Star Crunch. I ate so many Star Crunch as a kid. I'm still working them off. Still, still feeling the uh, the downsides of the Star Crunch. You guys know Star Crunch. Let me let this turn finish here. Do you guys know Star Crunch? Star Crunch. These are so good. Oh, dude. I'd give a million dollars for a Star Crunch right now. So, Spammy is close. Oh, what broke my Reno? Oh, Agonies. Agonies broke my Reno. Could hit these two and Spammy. I mean, guess. This should have a fair number. It has at least Arcane and Shadow. I haven't really kept track of anything else, but this was Fell probably, right? Okay, Edwin again is nice. 
Need for Greed, Shroud. Okay, wow, we had a lot of spell types. Sick, okay. Amazing. Kravatella is nice, all right. So, okay, we've got a fairly kind of sort of full hand. I think I want to stay as full hand as I can here for the sake of curses. So they can put in two curses right now. If they go for a big curse pop off turn, hopefully I can get a Reno active soon. I still have that other curse of agony though. That's a problem. So I don't know. Let's see. There's the drag belows. Okay, there's two more in hands. This might be a good hit, Edwin, this turn. These are only five damage. That's not so bad. Oh my god, dude, these fell riffs. I know their deck is almost empty, but it's crazy that they keep getting so many fell riffs. Actually causing me a lot of stress right now. Tamsin's still more threatening, right? I mean, I don't guess I start here. I guess I start with Edwin, huh? Well, I want to discount Edwin, though. That was my plan. Stone by stone, storm wind shall Tooth is amazing. Oh, Tooth causes a little bit of agony, though. It's fine. We'll give up a little mana. It's good. Oh, Tidal Surge is great. Yeah, that's awesome. Hook Tusk, huh? Okay. Let's wait. I don't think I'll be dead, right? I think we're okay. Fizzle Wave burned. That's nice. All right. That's good. Uh, Sabert J, by the way, thanks for the two months. Oatmeal cream pies are my favorite. Yeah, my dad, I think, liked those fairly well. He liked moon pies a lot, too. We, I had those, too. Yeah, I remember liking those quite a bit. They kind of had the, like, uh, like almost an oatmeal raisin cookie on them or something. No raisins, but that kind of taste, I feel like, flavor profile. One pirate remaining. Really? Interesting. I really, really want to find... Stick to the shadows. That other freaking agony. That's fine. I need that one agony to activate this Reno, right? I'm almost out of cards. So we're just kind of in a stasis here with a full hand at the moment. I mean, if they don't produce enough threat, I never really have to do anything. Um... I can probably leave one spot open. Do I have any other card here that makes cards, like draws me stuff? Contraband Stash probably would satisfy. If I wanted to go for a Hook Tusk, what would I even do? Take their hands? There's nothing in deck. I guess I could take a couple cards from hand, but just chilling right now. So what do they have left? Oh, they're killing it for me, so I really don't have to do anything this turn. Okay, I can just chill forever. They already used their emulates, right? So... I don't have to do anything until they do. If they start doing this to gain three threes, they take a lot more fatigue. Uh, they should have one more drag below from Tamsin. Zakul. I don't think we've seen either Syracast, right? Are you gonna clean that up? Okay, just putting in some bodies, sure. Do I need to kill this stuff? I guess not yet, right? I could also take one curse hit, like put in a, you know, Krabatoa or something and take one curse. It would be nice if I had cards that I knew refilled my hand upon play. I don't have a cheap pirate, unfortunately, for the for the hook tusk. Or I could play a pirate and hook tusk, take two of their cards and be back to full, right? I think for now I let this live. If they go for something crazy next turn, I might test to get the whirlpool. Because Whirlpool will kill this. It probably also often refills my hand, right? But I think we can wait one turn is the moral of the story. I can get a little greedier, maybe. Or uh, maybe more than one turn. I don't know. I don't think they have direct damage other than their board. So it just depends on how quickly they actually amount a board here. And then if I find my Reno or not, too, probably matters a little bit. But just no urgency yet. Tidal, it kind of, you know, it heals, but it also, it also kind of doesn't. Really thinking hard at 35 health? 
It's the right time to think. If we if we think hard at 10 health, it might be too late. We have to make decisions now. If you play Hearthstone one turn at a time, I think you're going to have a bad time. I think you got to play Hearthstone at least a few turns ahead. So this is actually, they're taking more damage return than me. So at this current equilibrium, I think we win. Particularly because I might be able to muster some, some burst damage or burst healing. We don't expect them to have any other burst damage than stuff through the hand, right? There's no other way for them to... To do burst damage. 21v20. Okay, I'm just gonna wait. So they go to... They have some healing too, but they probably... Ah, okay, there we go. So now we are forced to act a little bit, right? I hope I just burn that agony so I can play a Reno. This is a good test turn probably though for the Whirlpool because they just put that back in hand, right? So there's the agony. If Tess fills my hand, I don't think I need to play Reno. If Tess doesn't fill my hand, I might need to play Reno, right? I don't know. Let's see what happens with this test. I'm really not sure to be honest. Those don't matter at all. Okay, that's totally fine. There's the whirlpool, sure. How many cards got removed from your hand? Quite a few. Metamorphosis. Oh yeah, that too. Okay, it didn't refill my hand. Shoot. So actually, they will have two curses which deal nine damage. So I'm actually fine to hold again. Do they have another curse of agony? Gosh, I really thought that was going to refill my hand more than it did. Maybe it was off school teacher. Yeah, that might be why. Yeah, hold up. Yeah, that's a good thought. Yeah, it probably was. That doesn't show, but probably was. So we can Reno now. This isn't 11, actually, more than I thought, but... Oh, four was what it was at, not what it's going to be at. Okay. Oh, there's the final agony. Cool. Okay, so now we go Reno. I play these two curses, and I think we're good. I don't have a great way to kill that 6-5. I think I have to kill the brand, though. I think they have Syracuses still. I think they still have Syracuses, guys. I don't think we ever saw Syracuses. They can just hit this, I know, but it's fine. That means I heal 6, so... It's actually pretty useful. I think they have two Syracuses, which will hit me for seven and eight, which is 15 damage. So they have to probably trade here. They might have another. Oh, they have a drag below too. Oh my God. They actually have a ton of damage still. Gosh, dang it, dude. It's not enough though. The Reno keeps me alive. 17 and seven. Yeah, I just play these three and then I have to clear the board. At least a little, but I have Tidal Surge, which is really good. Okay, so we... Tidal Surge. You know. Triple Curse. Is this risky for any reason? It's probably just going to be a bunch of curses. Maybe I just Bancrick. So I get the board back sooner. I mean, I, I think Kravitoa will, will end, the, end the game on this guy, but that's, that's just in case. I don't know. What's that last card, we think? You haven't heard the last of me. Woo! Unbelievable. Cool. 